Hi guys, on a previous video I commented that I heard that some people were using a 64 gig card in the Samsung media players even though a 32 gig is the biggest size that they recommend. Uh, I'm happy to report that I've seen a video where a guy successfully uses one of these cards in his 4.2 player and since then I've I picked one of these cards up today and I got it to work successfully in my 5.0 player this is the card I got right here the SanDisk Ultra 64 gig micro SDXC class 10 card um, it's available right now for about 50 bucks on Amazon it's also available in Best Buy for about a hundred bucks if you got lots of money and uh, the card that the guy in the video used was a class 6 However, the class 10 works just fine. I don't have I didn't have any problem with it. And I'll show you here that it is working. I play it right here. You can see total memory 59.46 gigs. Available memory 32.42 gigs. That's because I've got a whole bunch of crap on here. I uh, Took my 32 gig card out Put it in the card reader in my laptop and then I put the 64 gig card in here Now when you do that you're gonna get a message right up here, and it's gonna say damaged SD card Okay, don't panic all you have to do is shut your device down and then turn it back on and right here where it says format format SD card, you hit that, and then it'll ask you a couple times, you sure you want to do it, it'll erase the card, blah, blah, blah. Always hit yes for both of them, and then let it format the card. After it formats the card, then it will show that you've got 59.46 gigs of memory, and you're free to put whatever you want on your device, and it'll work. Um, I dragged and dropped. I took my 32 gig card out put it in the card reader in my laptop and then I hooked my player up to my laptop with the USB cable and then I dragged and dropped all the folders from my 32 gig card onto my 64 gig card and uh, I had 3,600 songs in my music folder it took two hours to, to transfer them but when I got all done transferring all the stuff over I disconnected the player from the computer and it scanned the card and it showed out the memory I had and it works perfectly all my apps all my videos and songs everything works great and now I have all that memory available on my device so uh, I highly recommend if you need a lot of memory on your device get one of these 64 gig cards and you'll be able to put just tons of music and movies and take tons of pictures and videos whatever you want to do if you want to you know have a James Bond marathon on your on your device or if you're going on a trip and you want to put a bunch of movies on for the kids to watch or something like that you'll have a ton of space so I highly recommend this SanDisk 64 gig card again it's available for 50 bucks right now on Amazon it's also available at Best Buy for $100 and I believe it is available at Radio Shack however it is sold out on, on their website right now and my local store did not have it in stock but otherwise they have it available now for 50 bucks if your store has it I recommend you pick it up um, I highly recommend this card so if you need lots of room pick it up and it should work in your device if you have uh, one of the newer phones say the Samsung Galaxy S3 I've heard that it will work in this phone without reformatting you just put it in the phone recognizes it and, and you're good to go however if it doesn't then I guess you would have to reformat it like I did but it will work in your Android device so uh, you need a lot of space pick one of these up and I think you'll be glad you did as usual thanks for watching my video comment rate and subscribe and we'll see you next time